in single entry there are two methods are there the first one is a statement of affairs method and second one is conversion method see single entry means it is also known as preparation of accounts from incomplete information or incomplete records in that the first one is we can find net profit according to statement of affairs method this we already discussed in separate video so in this video we are going to see conversion method conversion method means converting the incomplete information into complete information that is converting single entry into double entry system see in order to convert a single entry into double entry we need to follow four important steps okay the first step is we need to prepare opening statement of affairs in order to calculate capital in the beginning this is very important information in order to convert single entry into double entry this can be identified with the help of preparing statement of affairs let us see the format this is the format of statement of affairs statement of affairs is just like a balance sheet okay just take all the assets value which is given in the problem that is opening statement of affairs that is opening value of assets and liabilities which is given in the problem take all assets and liabilities the missing figure will be the opening capital okay so this is the format to prepare statement of affairs this is the first step in order to find out the capital at the beginning okay step 2 is other accounts in other accounts there are two things are there the first one is total debtors account and second one total creditors account total debtor account is essential to find out credit sales or debtors balance either in the beginning or at the end and the second one total creditors account so creditors account is required to find out credit purchases or creditors balance either in the beginning or at the end now let us see the format of debtors account and creditors account see look at the total debtors account format so this account is essential to ascertain credit sales so debtor is an asset no asset always showing debit balance so opening balance will be entered under debit side two balance brought down opening debtors okay and closing debtors will be opposite side that is credit side by balance carry down this one is opening balance and this one is closing balance now we are going to find out the credit sales the credit sales will be the balancing figure so you are going to find out the credit sales okay if you find any cash received from the debtors that will be recorded in the opposite side that is credit side by cash received it may be in the form of cash or it may be in the form of check or it may be in the form of bills receivable whatever it is all the receipts will be entered under credit side and if there is any discount allowed to your customer okay that will be recorded under credit side and if there is any return inwards return inwards means sales returns that will be entered under credit side of total debtors account and the next one is bad debts bad debts means irrecoverable amount from the debtors if there is any bad debts that will be recorded under credit side bad debts means irrecoverable from debtors and after entering all these things your balancing figure will be credit sales in some cases they may give credit sales in your problem itself opening balance also will be there in your problem itself then the balancing figure will be the closing debtor the debtor account is essential to find out either credit sales or opening balance or closing balance so this is the format of preparing total debtors account the next one is total creditors account so this account is essential to find out the credit purchases so creditors always liabilities no so liabilities always showing credit balance so start with opening balance credit side by balance brought down that is opening creditors it will be entered under credit side and opposite side to balance carry down that is closing balance under debit side and we are going to find out the credit purchase this will be the balancing figure and before finding this you need to enter all these things the first one is cash paid any cash paid to creditors that will be recorded under debit side and when we receive any discount from our supplier that will be recorded under debit side when we return any goods to our creditors that will be entered under debit side as purchase returns and finally you will be getting the balancing figure as 
as credit purchases in some cases they may give credit purchases also in the problem itself in that case the closing creditor will be the balancing figure so in this total creditors account you will be getting either opening balance as balancing figure or closing balance as balancing figure or credit purchases as balancing figure so you can find any three missing items with the help of total creditors account look at the third step after preparing the total debtors account and creditors accounts we can able to find out the credit sales and credit purchase and after finding credit purchases and credit sales we need to find total sales and total purchases total sales means which consist cash sales plus credit sales so this you can find out from the debtors account and this information will be given in the problem itself that is cash sales and the next one is total purchases total purchases means which consist cash purchases plus credit purchases and this you can ascertain from total creditors account and this information will be given in the problem itself so after preparing total debtors account and total creditors account the next step is you need to find total sales and total purchases total sales means cash sales plus credit sales total purchases means cash purchases plus credit purchases and after finding all these things the final step is uh, you can prepare final accounts so final account means which consists three things uh, trading account profit and loss account and balance sheet so this is the conversion of single entry into double entry system so in order to prepare the final account you need to find the above missing figures the first one is opening capital and we need to find the total sales and total purchase after finding these things only you can able to prepare the trading pnl and balance sheet now let us see one illustration problem look at the problem from the following details prepare trading and profit and loss account for the period ended 31st march 2015 and a balance sheet on that date see look at the information see the first one is stock as on 1st april 2014 and as on 31st march 2015 stock how much 55000 opening balance and 30000 closing balance all these things are called opening balance and these things are called closing balance okay stock opening 55 closing 30 and sundry debtors 130 1 80 cash 15000 25000 furniture 10000 10000 sundry creditors 80000 90000 so all these information which is related with the balance sheet opening values are there closing values also there and some other additional information in that the first one is drawings 18000 discount received 8000 discount allowed 6000 sundry expenses 15000 cash paid to creditors 230000 cash received from debtors 270000 sales returns 8000 purchase return 3000 and cash sales 3000 with this information they ask you to prepare trading pnl and balance sheet first step is calculation of opening capital for that you need to prepare statement of affairs as on 1st april 2014 asset side liability side look at the problem in the opening statement of affairs you need to enter only balance as on 1st april 2014 stock how much 55000 this will be entered under asset side debtors also asset cash also asset furniture is also asset sundry creditors liabilities now enter assets and liabilities stock 55000 sundry debtors 130000 cash 15000 furniture 10000 and liability side only one liability is there sundry creditors 80000 now find the total asset side 2 lakh 10000 Enter the same amount under liability side. Two lakh ten thousand minus eighty thousand. The balancing figure is one lakh thirty thousand. This is called as opening capital. That is capital at the beginning. Balancing 
figure. So now we have got the first information that is opening capital. The second step is you need to prepare total debtors account to find out credit sales. Look at the problem. In debtors account you have to start with the opening debtors. So sundry debtors as on 1st April 2014 1,30,000 and as on 31st March 2015 that is closing value 1,80,000. This one is opening balance and this one is closing balance. In total debtors account debit side to balance brought down. That is opening value. How much? 1,30,000. And closing value opposite side by balance carry down. 1,80,000. So you have to start with opening balance and end with the closing balance. Opening balance debit side, closing balance credit side. And record all other information which is given in the problem. See, in other details, just see what are all the information which is related with the debtors account. See here, discount allowed. So here they have allowed discount to customer how much? 6,000. By discount allowed. How much? 6,000. We have entered discount allowed to debtors and a credit side of debtors account. Next, cash received from debtors. This is also relevant to debtors account. By cash received from debtors. How much? 2,70,000. Then next one, sales return. Sales return how much? 8,000. So this is also related with the debtors account by sales return how much 8000 that's all no other information so we have started with opening data and we have recorded closing data also both the informations are given in the problem apart from that we have taken discount allowed cash received from debtors and sales returns. So these are the informations related with the debtors account. Now you can find the balancing figure. Credit side total 4,64,000. Enter the same value under debit side also. So you will be getting balancing figure as credit sales. 2 credit sales how much? 3,34,000. This is balancing figure. That is total credit balance 4,64,000 minus debit balance 1,30,000 is equal to 3,34,000. So this amount is called credit sales. So with the help of total data account we have got credit sales amount 3,34,000. Now we need to prepare total credit account. So now we need to prepare creditors account. So in creditors account, you need to record opening balance and closing balance. Look at the problem. Sundry creditors opening balance 80,000. That is balance brought down. And closing balance 90,000. That is balance carry down. First you have to record opening and closing balance. So creditor is a liability. No, liability always showing credit balance. So opening balance will be recorded under credit side. By balance brought down. How much? 80,000. This one is opening balance. Closing balance just opposite side. To balance carry down. That is closing balance. How much? 90,000. See we have recorded opening balance and closing balance of creditors. Now see the other details. In other details just see what all the information which is related with the creditors account. So look at here discount received that is you have received discount from your suppliers. So enter this value under debit side of creditors account. To discount received how much? 8000. Next one is cash paid to creditors. This is also related with the creditors account. Debit side to Cash paid to creditors 2,30,000. So we have entered cash paid to creditors. The next one is purchase returns. This is also related with the creditors account. Debit side to purchase returns. How much? 3,000. 
that's all all the information which is given in the problem we have entered in creditors account now get the total 331000 enter the same value on the credit side also now we can get the balancing figure 250 by credit purchase this is a balancing figure okay so we have started with opening balance and we have entered closing balance also both the informations are given in the problem and apart from that these are the information which we have taken from the other details that is discount received from the supplier cash paid to creditors and purchases returns the balancing figure is credit purchases how much to lack 50 1000 okay now we can prepare the final account okay in trading and profit and loss account first we need to record trade transactions that is uh, opening stock so trading account start with the opening stock to opening stock debit side look at the problem so how much opening stock 50 5000 so enter this amount under debit side of trading account that is opening stock 50 5000 then next one to purchases see in purchases you have to take the total purchases purchases means both cash purchases and credit purchases but in this problem there is no cash purchase so only we have got the credit purchase from total creditors account look at the creditors account how much credit purchase 2 lakh 51000 there is no cash purchase in this problem so you can take only credit purchases how much 2 lakh 51000 enter in the inner column why because purchases returns is there no unless purchase returns see the other details in that purchase returns is there no 3000 subtract from total purchase 3000 balance in the outer column 248000 credit side buy sales okay look at the debtors account in debtors account we have got credit sales how much 334000 credit sales how much 334 enter into inner column and cash sales also given in the problem no look at the other details the last item is cash sales this will be add along with the credit sales 3000 so total sales how much 337000 just enter in the inner column if there is any sales return subtract and then you can enter the remaining amount in the outer column so in this problem we have sales return also cut the other details sales returns how much 8000 subtract 8000 balance is 329000 net sales then buy closing stock look at the problem we have taken opening stock under debit side of trading account now we have to enter closing stock under credit side of trading account how much 30000 that's all now get the total credit side 3 lakh 29 plus 30000 3 lakh 59000 enter the same amount debit side also 359000 the balancing figure is called gross profit to gross profit how much 56000 so credit side 359 debit side only we have 33000 the balancing figure is 56000 this is called as gross profit balancing figure now transfer the gross profit to opposite side in pnl account by gross profit opposite side how much 56000 now record all other indirect expenses under debit side of profit and loss account in other details just see if there is any other transactions which is related with the profit and loss account drawings this will be recorded under liability side sundry expenses enter debit side under profit and loss account to sundry expenses how much 15000 anything else discount received it's a pnl item so this will be recorded under credit side of profit and loss account discount received is an income so by discount received 8000 and the next one is discount allowed discount allowed is an expense for the organization so enter under debit side of profit and loss account 
to discount allowed 6000 anything else just see that's all now you can get the total 64000 enter the same value on the debit side also the balancing figure how much 43000 this one is called net profit to net profit it is balancing figure so credit side 64,000 debit side we have only 21,000 difference between credit side and debit side is equal to 43,000 is equal to net profit now we can prepare balance sheet asset side this one is liabilities and the liability side the first item is capital which we have calculated from statement of affairs look at the first calculation statement of affairs how much 1,30,000 inner column 1,30,000 okay capital 1,30,000 from capital just subtract drawings drawings means any amount which is taken from the business by the proprietor for his or her personal expense is called drawings under other details the first information is drawings how much 18,000 so this will be subtracted from capital 18,000 balance 1,12,000 okay opening capital minus drawings is equal to 1,12,000 and add net profit net profit how much 43,000 add 43 that's all now enter the amount in the outer column 1,55,000 when we prepare the balance sheet we need to take only closing items look at the closing item the first one is stock that is closing stock this will be recorded under asset side stock 30,000 that is closing stock next debtors closing debtors how much 1,80,000 this is also an asset sundry debtors 1,80,000 next item cash how much 25,000 you have to take only closing figures cash 25,000 furnitures how much 10,000 both opening balance and closing balance same value only there will be no additional furnitures so you can take closing value 10,000 furniture 10,000 then the last item is sundry creditors. This one is liabilities. So you can enter this amount under liability side. Sundry creditors. How much? 90,000. Closing stock we have entered. Debtors we have entered. Cash, furnitures and creditors we have entered under liability side. In other details, drawings we have recorded. Discount received and discount allowed PNL item, sundry expense also profit and loss item, cash paid to creditors and cash received from debtors we have entered under debtors account and creditors account separately and sales return also we have entered in trading account, purchase returns also we have entered in trading account, cash sales also we have entered in trading account. Now you can get the total. Asset side 30,000 plus 180 plus 25 plus 10 is equal to 2,45,000 liability side 1,55 plus 90,000 is equal to 2,45,000 we got the same value this is the way to prepare final accounts according to conversion method conversion method means just converting single entry into double entry from the incomplete record we have converted into complete record and after preparing trading profit and loss and balance sheet then the company can follow double entry system of bookkeeping